Welcome back, everybody. Hello. Jenny and Namisha from the Toronto Vegetarian Association here today. We are going to make eggless egg salad sandwiches. Mm. Yum. So, how do we do egg salad without the eggs? We do it through the magic of tofu. tofu. And so, it's... Jenny is going to start by mashing up our tofu mm -hmm. so that it will start to look like egg salad. Now so, you, go you can go use a fork for this, but we've got this super duper tool here. So this tool is called a pastry blender, but it's not just for pastry because I love using it for mashing tofu. You can also use um, a potato masher or as Jenny right, pointed out, right. a fork. Now the tofu provides protein just like mm -hmm. egg, but there's no fat, at least not the artery clogging kind of fat. There's a little bit of fat in tofu, but nothing that you need to worry about. And it's got zero cholesterol. Now you know that a single egg has 213 milligrams of cholesterol. That's way That's too much. huge. You see, right now, it's just a plain block of tofu. Tofu on its own doesn't have very much flavor, but that's its beauty and its strength. Mm -hmm. Because you can take tofu from appetizer to dessert. Uh, you can make tofu fingers. We can make eggless egg salad like we're doing here today. Um, last time on Supreme Master TV, we also made a nut loaf where we use tofu as an ingredient. Yep. And uh, you can make tofu cheesecake. Exactly. So cheesecake without the cheese. By substituting tofu for a lot of these dairy and egg ingredients, you make it better for your health, of course, but you also are kinder to the planet. You're mm -hmm. much more compassionate towards the animals. And so it's a win-win all around. So now this still is just a bland, plain block of tofu right now. But <laughs> the magic comes in when we put all the other ingredients together to actually make it taste good. Mm -hmm. So what we need here is we start with two tablespoons of mustard. So this is just plain, ordinary yellow mustard. Nothing fancy. You don't need that fancy Dijon kind. Actually, if you use the fancy mustard, it makes it a little bit too strong. So I prefer just to use the plain mustard. And the mustard gives it um, flavor, but it, it's the color. You know, the egg has the yolk, which is yellow. So we're going to fool our senses with yep. this um, little trick of the, the kitchen. And if I haven't got mustard, I've used turmeric. Oh, that's right. Turmeric will yep. help you give that same yellow color. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can then adjust the flavorings with some other ingredients that I'll be talking about in a minute. So I'm using a teaspoon of salt. And the other uh, complaint I hear about from people about tofu is that they don't like that beanie taste. And so what we're doing is employing a little bit of chemistry here to neutralize that beanie flavor. Now in a traditional egg salad, you wouldn't normally put sugar, but I've got some organic um, dehydrated cane juice crystals here. You can use ordinary sugar if you like, but this is what I use at home. And the action of the sugar and the salt and lemon juice and the vinegar, all these ingredients coming together is going to neutralize that beanie taste. And so you, don't, so you don't taste the sugar in this recipe. That's funny, because yeah. I've never noticed that um, tofu has a beanie taste. Oh, so, okay. Well, some yeah. people's palates are a little bit more sensitive yeah. than others. So I've got my one and a half tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Now, if you don't have apple cider vinegar, you can use white wine vinegar or some rice vinegar will work equally well. But I like apple cider vinegar because it does have a nice flavor. Mm -hmm. And we need about a tablespoon and a half of fresh lemon juice. Now, this is where I insist on fresh. And you know, if, if you haven't got fresh, just buy some lemons, yeah. make the juice, and you can then freeze it for use later. So we've got our salt, sugar, mustard, lemon juice, mm -hmm. apple cider vinegar, and we're just gonna mix that up so that the mustard gets incorporated um, and we have a smooth dressing just a few seconds until you don't hear the grainy uh, sound of the sugar and the salt anymore. And that's when you know, okay, this is good enough.
have our pre-chopped vegetables, but just so that our audience knows what, we're, what we've done here, is I just cut the celery into short strips like this to begin with. Um, and it doesn't have to be very fine, but just, you know, cut some strips and then just chop it into fine bits. Now you do have the professional look with the knife here, <laughs> I must admit. Well, it comes from <laughs> a lot of practice and uh, doing this often enough that uh, it looks effortless. Mm -hmm. uh, I've listed some measurements, uh, about two tablespoons of chopped celery. Um, but you know, you can either leave it out altogether or use less or use more. This is a very flexible recipe. And then the other thing we've got is a spring onion. Sometimes I make a slit in it halfway so that the pieces get chopped nice and fine. And same thing, just with that, you know, up and down motion of the knife, um, we cut it into small bits. And I like using mostly the white parts and a little bit of green for some color. Oh, for garn. Yeah, for garnish afterwards as well. That's it. And uh, we'll use uh, we'll use parsley for some green color as well. Mm -hmm. So here we've got we our go. chopped green onion. And again, just three tablespoons, depending on how much you like. And some chopped cucumber, okay, which is usually traditionally found in egg salad as well. Mm -hmm. And we'll just give that a little mix. Oh, uh, lovely. Look at that color. Isn't that beautiful? Maybe we can just hold that up. Uh, that there we go. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that? And, and nutritious too. Celery, cucumber, onion, uh -huh. it all has fiber. And of course, we're going to serve this on a whole grain bread. So that gives us fiber too. Now, Jenny, if you can just mm -hmm. stir that through yep. for me with the tofu. Mm -hmm. So we've got our veggies coated in that dressing mm -hmm. that we made. Okay. Oh, this smells delicious. Too. Doesn't it? And the magic mm. just happens. Oh, you see the yellow color forming and mm -hmm. now it's starting to look like egg salad a little bit. If it doesn't quite look the way you want it to, there's nothing to stop you from, you know, mm. just adding a little extra go. squeeze of mustard Very nice. to make it yellower. And um, ideally, you want to let this sit oh, in nice. the fridge for about an hour minimum or, you know, make it the night before and then put your sandwiches together in the morning so you can have them for lunch. And mm. the tofu acts like a sponge. It, it absorbs all the flavor of these ingredients that we put in, mm. the mustard, the lemon, the right. salt. Yep. And that's it. It's, um, wow. there you go, there's your <laughs> egg salad. Now what we're going to do is um, garnish it with our finely chopped parsley and we're gonna mix that in as well. Now these are really sweet. You found these tiny little pita, pita pockets. Yeah. And they're great if you're having uh, people over and you're entertaining. Um, this is a great party idea. People can just pick them up with their mm -hmm. fingers and you know they're mingling and talking. Um, and these are all so ready and stuff. We, we just, you just cut the little top off at the top okay. and that creates this little pocket and then we just stuff it in. This is the fun part. Yeah, it is fun. And they, they look so pretty when they're done. Uh, and then you can garnish your platter with, you know, little carrot curls or parsley or dill or any fresh mm. herbs that you've got and make go. the platter look really pretty. So um, this is a great entertainment food, but it's also great. It's, it's an everyday dish as well. Mm -hmm. Very nutritious, mm -hmm. um, tasty. It is quite tasty. You know, I've served this at different occasions and I've had people insist it was egg and I'm like, no, it's not egg. So uh, and, and it, it looks like egg though, doesn't it? Oh, definitely. But and the great thing about tofu is you can get this in packets as well, that's can't it. you? You can get this um, in different consistencies. Mm -hmm. So there's firm, medium firm. I just used regular water pack tofu today. I bought it fresh yes. it's, uh, from an Asian market. And of course, diff in different parts of the world, uh, because we've got to our audience from all over the world. Mm -hmm. So just look in your near supermarket or Asian market and ask for tofu. And uh, there's a variety. And you know, for egg salad, um, regular works fine, medium work works fine. Uh, if you do use one of the softer varieties, you need to drain off the excess water so that it's not too runny. And also the other question I get asked about this dish is, how long will it keep? Well, mm -hmm. amazingly enough, it keeps well for three to four days in your oh. refrigerator. 
Um, so you can make it in advance and have it for lunches, um, mm -hmm. serve it up at supper. It's a great snack. Yes, it's great on yes. toast. Yes, yes. Okay. Nice. There we you go. You did a great job of stuffing these. Very and nice. there you go. This is what they look like. There's nothing to stop you from making a regular mm -hmm. sandwich with regular bread. You know, put some lettuce, some tomatoes, some sliced cucumber, and you'll have yourself an eggless egg salad sandwich. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you all for joining us again on Supreme Master Television. Happy Easter, everybody. Happy Easter. And coming up next is Between Master and Disciples. Stay tuned. All right. Well, be veg, go green, save, save the, the planet. planet. I thought both recipes were delicious and I look forward to trying them at home.